All right, a creepy crawly exhibit that you don't want to miss. If you were watching at 8 o'clock, you introduced, we introduced you to some of our eight-legged friends. Well, guess what? We've got more. Spiders Alive dives into the world of spiders, scorpions, and their relatives with more than a dozen live species on display, just like the ones that you have here. Joining us this morning to talk more about this family-friendly and educational exhibit, Dr. Lisa Taylor, a scientist with the University of Florida's Entomology Department. This is something really cool for people who live in Gainesville and, and really those all across the area. Yeah, we have a lot of spider diversity in Florida, and so this is a really great opportunity for people to just learn a little bit about that diversity and learn more about a lot of the creepy crawlies that they have in their backyard. <laughs> <laughs> so at 8 o'clock, we met our friend right here. This is Rosie, and the name comes from her being a Chilean rose, rose hair. hair spider. Yeah, Did I say Chilean that right? rose hair tra uh, tarantula. Oh, okay. Yep. Chilean rose hair tarantula. That's a mouthful right there. Yeah. She's super cool. She's actually quite friendly. I got to show her to all of our friends in the <laughs> <laughs> in the control room, all of our producers back there. But but for this segment, we want to talk about some of the spiders that you're going to see here in the state of Florida. Yeah. These are our local spiders. Yep. Some are native, some are introduced. Yep, yep. So Rosie is big and beautiful and charismatic, but there's also a lot of smaller spiders sure. that people might find in their backyard. So we have a few live spiders here in boxes, um, but we also brought some 3D models just so you can appreciate um, how beautiful they are. So when you look at them up close. So these are 3D printed models, mm -hmm. and you can see um, this is a jumping spider. And okay. so quite different than Rosie. So Rosie um, has tiny little eyes on top of her head and, and pretty poor vision, but jumping spiders have amazing vision. So you can see those adorable little eyes. Are those four eyes? They have eight eyes. Eight eyes, yeah. okay. Yeah. So they have really big eyes in the front of their face. A lot of them have color vision. A lot of them are really colorful. These are spiders that everyone has in their garden, um, backyard, sure. even in their house. Um, yeah, we've seen them, whether we've identified them as jumping yes. spiders or not. Yeah. We, we've yeah. seen them over our lifetime. And if you, don't, if you don't get a really close look at their face, you can know it's a jumping spider because they kind of hop, they jump around like that. So that's okay. how they get their name. Okay. So cool. these are things to keep an eye out for in your garden. Um, that's the real deal one. Yes, this that's is the actual spider. Right so so it's, it's pretty, about that big. Yeah, pretty big. Okay. Not, not quite as big okay. as Rosie, um, but pretty big. Um, jumping spiders are my favorite, so I brought two. This is another jumping spider, another really tall one, so about that big in real life. Uh, but this is what the spider looks like if you were to blow it up. And, and All right. In, this, these are called magnolia jumping spiders. Sure. So these are also common in your backyard, um, particularly if you have magnolia or oak trees. Yeah, I, I've seen them on, on flowers, Yeah. right? Yeah, yep. okay. these guys hang out on flowers also. Awesome. Yep. Um, awesome. And then uh, we have there. Ooh, here. That's, that's a bigger one. That's one that I would see out in the yes. woods, maybe on a hike, and say, okay, cool, I'll admire it from afar. Right, yeah. <laughs> this is a huntsman spider. So this is a spider that's also very common. This is probably one of the biggest thing, uh, biggest spiders that Floridians would encounter in their house or in their yard. Um, so that's a uh, yeah, pretty substantial spider, not quite as big as Rosie. Can you see it but, there? Um, but okay, pretty big. Cool. <laughs> And these spiders, they don't build webs. They don't build like big orb webs, typical of like, mm -hmm. you know, what people think of when they think of webs and spiders. These spiders basically just ambush their prey. They run after okay. it. They're really fast. Okay. So these creep a lot of people out um, because they just run really fast. Yeah. So you might I mean, see one on your wall and it just. <laughs> that thing's about the size, uh, I would say a quarter, but it's much bigger actually. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with the leg span, it's about that big when it yeah. when um, three, stretches four, out those five legs. five inches potentially. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's not small. Um, so it's, it's a big spider, yeah. This and is, and this on is the a, other side yeah, and is a I tiny this, one. I brought this spider along. This is a spitting spider, so you'll mm -hmm. probably, uh, viewers will probably have a hard time seeing it. It's a really tiny spider. It's pretty uninteresting looking if you were to sure. just look at it from afar, but they're, they're, um, it's a spitting spider, so uh, while they're not harmful to humans, they actually spit um, like a sticky glue at their prey to immobilize okay. it, and then they attack it. So okay. they're, just, they're just a cool spider that I thought would be worth. And by the way, behind us, that appears to be a black widow. Yes, yep. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't bring one of those I in. didn't bring any black widows today. Thankful no. for that, nope. but are, are these found in Florida? Yep, mm -hmm. okay. yep, and we also have um, an introduced brown widow in Florida too. That's, that's becoming pretty common. And you can see that there's a black widow in the uh, Spiders Alive exhibit, which is pretty cool to be able to see one up close, but maybe not feel threatened by it. Sure, sure. <laughs> so let's talk about this spiders. exhibit. So it's actually on campus at the University of Florida. Yep. The museum is, is incredible, I love it. Yeah, yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, it's beautiful, it's got a butterfly garden. They're always keeping it interesting, keeping something new in there. Tell me about this exhibit, it's, it's every day of the week? 
Yep, yep, the museum's open every day, um, and there's, there's a bunch of over a dozen live spiders that you can actually see and um, you know, watch, and you can watch their behavior. There's a lot of video, there's a lot of beautiful images, um, there's a lot of like, 3D models where you can actually like, see the sensory structures mm -hmm. of the spider, so you can see the spinnerets up close, you can yeah. see the jaws. Um, there's a giant spider that you can sit on, like an enormous spider that you can sit on. And uh, yeah, it's just a really cool, so beautifully done exhibit. It's, it, awesome. it's cool to uh, to show it to the kids and yeah, to show it yeah. to your family and, and to show the significance of spiders. Because like, if you don't right. like bugs, <laughs> if you don't like bugs biting you, mosquitoes biting you, you're probably gonna like spiders. Right, right. <laughs> They're all our friends. Real yep. quickly, I know that Send people Rosie liked when I held Rosie at eight o'clock. So I just wanted yeah. to make sure that we showed Rosie some love. Thank you for making the trip from Gainesville, Rosie. We appreciate you right there. And, and, and certainly, Dr. Lisa Taylor, thank you so much for coming yeah, on. thanks for having Representing me. UF. And, and there are the details right there. The Florida Museum of Natural History in Gainesville. The website is right there, floridamuseum.ufl.edu. You've got a little bit of time now through September the 4th, but guess what? Time flies. So get out there and, and check these exhibits out live in person as soon as you can. Awesome. Thank you.